Hi guys, today I would like to tell you how to make a puppet theater or a castle for dolls or just a house for Barbies, you can call it as you want. So it's really um, very easy to make with your own hands, it's mm, totally do-it-yourself work and you will find out that it's um, such a great pleasure and uh, really very easy, as easy as pie to build castles um, out of carton. So what you need is just a carton package box. Uh, so big or small it's up to you to decide but I have chosen a big one because the dimensions of uh, this house or let's call it a castle uh, so um, uh, are significant for me I prefer big ones so and um, I have already made a sketch on it so it's just a big box it's uh, rectangular and so now I will show you it in details so it's like this an ordinary box uh, so then uh, I've put a sketch on it with a pencil and then with a marker and it's the first step of this uh, work uh, just to make a sketch it's the first step the second step is to cut frames in it so and you can see in the middle of this cotton box it's a frame here and um, I've cut it with the scissors and a little knife uh, so and uh, now I will make um, frames um, here and here I will cut it like this, this, and this, and these windows will open, and uh, that uh, that will be uh, the third step. So I think that the idea is clear. So you can easily see it, and finally we are going to get a remarkable result. So let's get it started. So and now I'm painting painting this architectural elements columns. I paint them white. So and you can see that mm, the paint is rather transparent and black lines are easily seen. It's okay. Then after uh, this paint dries we can paint these elements with marker again that they uh, become bright and so when it will all be painted with different colors that would be a perfect perfect picture <laughs> i can't help admiring the process of painting and acrylic paint is really very good for this purpose it's very bright and so it gives magnificent color <laughs> and I like the process very much it's so calming and inspirational and inspirational as well so you can see that it's really very easy and for those who love to to draw it won't be a problem to make any kind of drawing on the box and then to make it vivid with uh, colors so I have chosen a red one for the door uh, so now the house is almost ready I painted it uh, so you can see windows and you can see doors um, here it is already cut and everything can be opened and um, now I'd like to show you how to make windows um, so at first here 
you need to have a little knife and you make it this way I can't comment because it's very serious We get this end, we have a little manicure scissors and just to make sure everything is okay. So and next step next step will be painting the roof you see the columns already exist so and we need the roof now how to make window elements so I've got here here and here and now I make this And here we go. This will be the roof. And finally the house is ready. I think it looks really nice. So let's make it a little bit closer and you'll see. So here's the roof, columns, then windows, doors, even flowers, with butterflies. And so the central window that can be a puppet theater. You certainly can see a curtain. It's a silk shawl and now I'm going to show you how it works. The back side view. It looks like this. Here it's everything. It's very simple but if you want you can even uh, make wallpapers or use real wallpapers to decorate the uh, let's call it interior design of this little house it's a um, silk show that plays the role of theater curtain so here it's just it's not fixed because there is no need to just to fix it and so here you can fix it with a, um, just a pin or something more safe for children uh, and show performances so and here is a little zebra that will be the first actor on the stage of this little improvised theater. So... Hello! 
Now the work is finished and a real cotton puppet theater and a house for dolls is built. It's ready to play and to live its life. So have a good time with the children and enjoy the performance.